it's me x Cadences, and today I have this package. Oh, it's from Europe and it's from this unbelievably talented artist and I'm so excited. I actually bought the doll last year but I forgot to pay shipping within a reasonable amount of time and then I got scared and like didn't contact her again for months. So that's my bad but I ended up getting some more things that she happened to be selling as well so I'm really excited. It's my fault 100% by the way. I'm not blaming her. That was that was me. She contacted me really trying to get me to pay the shipping. I have anxiety and sometimes I do really weird things. Anyway, I'm so excited to see who's inside. So let's get in. Well, I already know who's inside, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so first, ooh, I'm ready. So the seller had, I think, three or four of this series of customs that they did. And I ended up taking a nap and missing the sale. So I got, this was my second most wanted one, but I wanted them all and I really wanted a specific one, but it's totally fine. I oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry, Ronaldo, buddy. You playing? <laughs> She's way prettier in person. No way. So this is a custom Laguna Fire doll, and um there's something even more special about her that I'm going to show you in just a minute, but like She's so pretty. I can't get over the, the symmetry. I could never do that. And the, the eye style is so beautiful. And this outfit. Ah! And she's wearing Bonita Femur's shoes. Oh my God, she's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna set her down because there's something else in here for her and I wanna get that out first. So as to not to spoil the rest. Oh yes. Okay, so here they are. Sorry. These are her wings. I actually didn't know how they were made. They're laminated. Oh my gosh. And look, this is actually really smart. I think I might steal this idea for my custom wings. She super glued this brad onto the doll's back and then there's a brad on the wings so you can just... That's really smart actually. I never would have thought of that in a hundred million years. But a lot of my dolls really need wings and I don't have a million jack specific mechanisms to use so that would actually be really really helpful. So I'm going to start doing that. Oh my god, I can't believe this doll is real and she's like in my arms. Look how beautiful the wings look, by the way. They're like, oh, you can't see it, but they're they're really sparkly. They have like a micro fine glitter. Oh, they're beautiful. She's so beautiful. Oh, and she even has painted nails. Oh my god. She's amazing. I'm so excited to take pictures of her in my garden. I have a bunch of... I. I didn't put them there, but I have a bunch of really pretty flowers in my yard that just popped up as soon as spring hit. Um, and she would, they're yellow, they're daffodils. Uh, I think she would look really pretty with those. Look at her. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, all right, accessories. Oh, oh. She sent me candy. Pinballs. What are they? Sugar, glucose syrup, palm fat, humectant. Sorry, I'm not reading the ingredients for any reason. I'm just trying to see if they're chocolate or not. I don't know what they are. We'll have to try them at the end. And then this is the stand. It's a green stand. Who is this to? I actually don't have this or know who it goes to, um, but I love it. I really like this color and it matches her perfectly. That's so sweet to have her come with a custom stand. I actually did not know she would come with one. I always just assume when people are selling dolls that the stand in the picture doesn't come with them. All right, I'm gonna, I've been reading my Starland book, but I'm gonna put her here. <gasps> okay, the next dolls, I feel like for some reason I might have started following this customizer because of the, I just noticed there's an. Okay, thanks for adopting Fern and the ponies. Hope they're a nice addition to your amazing collection, Tiana, AKA Cherry Donuts. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad she already has a name. For some reason, I was... Because I know you name them, generally, but I, like, didn't remember her name, so... This is fun. Anyway, um... So I got three pony customs, and I actually only have one other custom pony, and I got her from this amazing artist named Calavista, and I... Um, my mom bought her for me forever ago. I was probably, like, 12 years old when I got that, or maybe even 11. Um, I'll have to show her one day. Oh, she's right there. I can see her. She's beautiful. Um, and I've always wanted more because I just love the G4 style ponies and they did not make enough characters. 
not even close. So G4 Customs are like what I really like. And for some reason, I feel like either early in my time following this artist or like the reason I followed this artist was because of these. So I'm stoked to have them. It's either that or I just remember seeing her make them and just being floored. And she ended up selling them and I ended up catching them. So I'm super happy. Right place, right time. Oh my God, the wings are so amazing. Oh my god! I didn't know they had mohair. So this is Morning Glory. Oh no, something just fell. What did I do? What did I do? Oh no, I can't find it. I don't know what fell. She seems like she- oh, maybe it was one of these, like maybe she had another one. I'll, I'll find it, don't worry. She's so cool. I love the little wings, they're so delicate. And these are actually made on bodies that have the little Pegasus wing holes. Oh, she's so pretty. I can't believe how spot on the eye repaint is. Like, that's the thing. I, I would love to do repainting. I think I could do a good job just making like a competent looking face, but I want like factory looking repaints. And that's what's so crazy about this artist is that the repaints, like the paint is so well laid that it looks like it was done in the factory. And I don't know how the heck people do that. I heard you're supposed to water down acrylics. I tried that and I'm never gonna do that again. Um, and I bought these. So hopefully I'll figure something out. I have no idea. Uh, but oh my god, Morning Glory is so pretty. At the end, I'll show you them next to their friends because I might have the G1s for at least two of them. And then, ooh, I should commission. I have a, my favorite Flutter Pony is Yum Yum. How cool would that be to get her? All right, and then this one I was so stoked about. Oh no, she broke. Um, This is Rose Dust and you know who that is. That's the queen of the Flutter Ponies. And this one was actually probably pretty easy for the seller because... She just has Fluttershy colored hair and stuff. I actually really wanted to do a Rose Dust cosplay, but I was going to G4 conventions at the time, so I ended up just changing it to Fluttershy. <laughs> uh, but I still want to do uh, Flutter Ponies really bad. It's just that I would need to go to like an actual like G1 My Little Pony convention, because that's who I want to... I would want to be Yum Yum or Rose Dust. Oh my god, and she's so pretty. I actually do think the eyes are repainted, but I honestly can't tell because they're so... Oh, they have to be, right? Fluttershy doesn't have pink eyes. It, that looks so official and like the little the way that flutter pony symbols go onto their faces and stuff it just looks so perfect oh and i love the little crown i've always loved rose dust goofy crown and her wings oh i just noticed they actually have like carved in swirls on them they all have different wings they're so cute all right and the last one i think this is lily or honeysuckle let me see Wait, her wing fell off and i'm really i wanted to put it back on but i'm gonna do that when i have like access to better glue um just so i don't hurt her but this one is honeysuckle her hair is a different color than um g1 honeysuckle so i'm not 100 percent sure but i'm pretty sure i remember that um the artist telling me that her name was honeysuckle like this is honeysuckle um i honestly prefer this color scheme to the original honeysuckle and it makes these because like when when ponies are translated generations they don't always keep like the exact same design so i still think it's really cool and she's so pretty i also just noticed this when i was looking at honeysuckle but they all have the little bows on their tails just like g1 ponies come with and that's so cute oh i really love her and i just i still can't believe the eyes i'm pretty sure those are repainted too oh they're so amazing and i honestly they don't look enough like the ponies that they originally were at all um that i wouldn't be able to display them happily with the g4s i'm so excited about them i'm gonna show you my uh g1s real fast like i'm gonna put them together with them and then i'm gonna show you um them on my g4 shelf my g4 shelf is a disaster though so sorry about that they are all together morning glory is definitely my favorite of the actual flutter pony release but i love pink dreams i think her name is and yum yum so so much but like look how good they all look together so yeah i was def i was right when i was recalling that this um hair is different but i like it again it's like a real g4 interpretation and i think they're really really cute i love little rose dust i might actually redo her hair though because mine before i i straightened the all of their hair recently like to make it be restored i was testing the straightening iron and it works really well i used to have her hair in like a beehive and i thought it was so cute so i might make them both like that i'm not sure they're so beautiful though. I'm so happy with them. If you watch this, Tiana, thank you so much. I really, really love them. And then let me put them on the shelf with the other jeans. Okay, so I decided to put them over here with Daisy Dreams and Plumette, just because I think they fit really well there. And oh my god, I love them so much. Yay! And they really do fit in so perfectly. Oh, here's my other custom, by the way. 
Her name is, I named her Serpentine and I absolutely love her, but I lost the snake charm at some point and I tried to super glue it back on and I still haven't found it again. And anyway, life is pain. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. For real this time, bye. Y'all just know by now I'm lying when I say for real this time. Here she is with her friends. This is another custom that I have of Vivalon from Pokemon. And I, I like her to be with my garden goals because they're all fairy and they're so cute. I would love to have more fairy monster idols because I just love fairies. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye. For real, for all this time.